Hi everyone, Rish Crescenti here with another in our series of videos making music with Melodyne. And today what we're going to be focusing on is the sound editor. So this video will only apply to you if you have Melodyne Studio. That's the flagship version of Melodyne. But it is such an incredibly powerful and amazing tool for shaping sounds. I mean, everyone talks about it like it's great for mangling and tearing apart all these sounds. But the fact of the matter is, is that you can do a lot of things with it from very subtle shading all the way up to mangling. So it's not just about ripping things apart and making them sound really bizarre. Sometimes it's about isolating a specific thing or just tweaking things a little bit. So let's dive in and take a look right here. Now, one quick note I want to say is that today's video, we're going to be using bass. So you're going to want to listen to this on good headphones or good monitoring. It's not going to really come across on, on a phone or on laptop speakers. So make sure you've got some good monitoring for this. All right, so looking at this here, like I said, we're dealing with bass today. And what I've got is a bass DI uh, that's just got a little bit of limiting on it right here. Let's give this a listen. Okay, so all I did was duplicate that track and I called it Bass Direct Sub. So we've got the original Bass DI, Bass Direct, and then the second one I duplicated, I called it Bass DI Sub. Now I've put some other plugins on here that we're going to go over in a minute, but just to show you, if I solo this one as well, making it so that they're both the same, it'll be louder, but it's the same sound. Okay, great. So let's just look at the sound editor real quick. And that is shown on these little white lines right here. If you just click on these, sorry, these black lines right here, click on those and that pulls up your sound editor here on the bottom. And we have a lot of controls on the sound editor all over here. But today what I want to focus on are the harmonics. Now, quick tip, the first thing I always do on anything that has pitch is I just take this, uh, this, this one right here, which is basically you see your one and two and three, etc. Right? One is your the fundamental. Then you get the second harmonic, the third harmonic, the fourth, and so on and so on. And Melodyne has this one, which is everything below the fundamental. So anything that makes any kind of pitch that you're using Melodyne, whether it's a singer, a guitar, keys, etc., I just always pull that one down. Okay. So now what I want to do in this case. I want to be able to give this bass a little more girth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these other harmonics, except for the first one, except for the fundamental, and just pull them all the way down. So I'm going to make sure that this track is soloed by itself, and then you could grab just one and bring it down, but you could also click above it and just drag over to select multiple. I'm going to select all of those and bring those all the way down. And now what we're left with right here is just with our fundamental, right? So let's give that a listen. Okay, so as you can hear, that's, that's pretty low in volume and it's very, very low because there's none of these upper harmonics, right? It's just that fundamental right there. This is nice because what we can do is focus on just this range of sound. This would be tough, you know, with an EQ, you could use a low pass filter, but if someone's playing all around the neck, it doesn't quite work as well. This is really nice because no matter what note they play, you're just going to get that fundamental right there. So what we could do is put a little, or in this case, a lot of compression on it, like so. I've got the emulation of a distressor right here. I'm going to be using a few different plugins right here. And a very important thing to remember with Melodyne is it's not just about Melodyne because in the real world, we use a lot of different plugins. So it's not just about Melodyne. It's about what Melodyne can help you do with these other plugins in ways that can help you focus and prepare the audio both before and after other plugins that makes it so powerful. So now that I've uh, unbypassed this compressor right here, let's give this a listen. Okay, so that's a little bit uh, more consistent in level. Same volume, but I've, t I've added a little more consistent to it right there. And another one that I particularly like is this Culture Vulture right here, which is a distortion unit. So I'm going to uh, take that out of bypass. And when we listen to this, now we get...
Okay, that's great. Now, what I want to show you is if I just listen to the original DI again, check this out. Okay, that's where that is. I'm going to bring this in and it's going to be kind of subtle, but then what I'm going to do is bring this fader up and you're really going to see how all this does is just add power at the very low end. Very, very useful. Very, very cool. We can move that all around and by adjusting that against the original DI right there, we can very much change the way that this bass sounds. Now I want to show you another trick that I like right here. I'm going to bypass this, uh, the culture vulture, because I want to show you something else. Sometimes, depending upon the way the bass was played, the fundamental itself can be very uneven and you might get less of it or more of it depending upon how that bass was played. So. Another trick that I like to do, and I'm a big fan of this on bass, is to pull down the fundamental and then take this second harmonic, right? Take this up right here, and if you click on Command, click on it, it just goes back up to its original level right there. And now if we listen to this by itself, you'll hear that it's, it's an octave higher. So while that's cool, I don't really want to add beef right there. Where I really want to add it is at the low end. So I'll use a plugin like this right here. This is the little altar boy made by Sound Toys. Very, very, very cool. And this gives us the ability to control the pitch and the formant and the drive. So if I take this out of bypass right here and we listen to this, I've dropped the pitch by an octave. We get. And now what I can do is experiment with the formant and with the drive and with the level till I get something that I really like. Let's take a listen to this right here, all of it together. That's a great improvement in sound, right? I've still got the tone of the DI, but I've added so much power and grit and character on that low end right there. This is a practically limitless tool, and it's not just good for bass, it's good for guitars, it's good for vocals, it's good for keys, it's good for all sorts of things. So give it a try. Hope you've enjoyed this today. Thanks.